Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and all our social media platforms at Fino Boxing. You can follow my personal social media at Adriana underscore sports. Enjoy. Uh, coming out to support good fighters. Good uh, fights. Last, week, last week we saw a great matchup between two heavyweights, two who you know very well. Chris Arola is able to drop Andy Reese. Andy Reese, I know you guys have talked about fighting each other. Sure. Well, overall, what did, you, what did you think of the fight? It was a good fight, uh, very entertaining. Uh, we saw Ariel was, uh, you know, has some still some tricks up his sleeve. Uh, caught Andy good in the uh, second, and caught him again good in the third round. But Andy regrouped and uh, was able to, you know, what to pull out a victory. Uh, bearing a, a rematch with Robert Elenis, is that a fight you would like to take? You know, Andrew Reese, you guys have some of the style, aggressive, come forward, fan friendly style. Is that a matchup that intrigues you? Yeah, for sure. You know, I'm here to, you know, uh, put on good fights, uh, support my family, and I uh, can't wait for uh, my next fight. You know, it's, it's been a while. Yeah, it's definitely been a while. Obviously, right before the pandemic, you gave us a great fight. Uh, what's next for you? Is there any talks of when you're going to return? Or, or what could you, you know, target in a sense? Yeah, I mean, I want the rematch with Robert Hellenius. I mean, I spoke with my managers, Keith Conley and Al Heyman. That's what's up in there right now. I'm waiting for a confirmation, so hopefully that will be announced in a couple weeks. Now, from that fight, obviously, it was your own long defeat. It was a great war. You gave a great show always you know, to the New York and the Bulls fans. What can you take away from that defeat? and apply it on that rematch, what can you do differently and it can make you a better fighter of all. That's to be uh, so hard, you know. I uh, got buzzed, instead of taking a step back. You know, I'm from Brooklyn, so you get a, oh yeah, you hit me, I'm gonna get you back, attitude. And uh, instead of taking a step back, regrouping, I want to come forward, a big little buzz. He called me with a good combination, a one, two, three. I put me right behind, I got up, and then I just let his hands go. And unfortunately, uh, the ref stopped it. But you know, it was a learning experience where I gotta regroup more if I get caught and, and buzzed a little bit. Lastly, uh, you know, what do you want to say to our listeners? Hey, take the fight, and you know, let's make it happen. Yeah, for sure, let's make it happen. You know, it's been too long. Uh, I've been getting uh, instant messages on my phone nonstop. Yo, Adam, with the, when is the, when is when you coming back? Uh, we're, we're waiting. So uh, let's make this happen. I mean, it's been too long. I'm ready to come back. Uh, I'm on a date, you know. Is that a rematch that has to take place in Brooklyn? Or you're willing to go to his home country? Maybe you know, neutral ground, someone like in Las Vegas, LA? Yeah, Texas. I just want to fight right now. I mean, I've been, it doesn't I'm matter so, what Yeah, I'm so hungry right now. I just want to get back in there and uh, prove that uh, that was just a little mistake on my part. Well, now, lastly, you know, two possible future opponents on the line. It could be a big match between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. Uh, do you, just, you know, as a fan, do you want to see that fight take place? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's only good if I all the titles. So, uh, the, all about my want to see that. Who's like really the, the champion? So, uh, and that will give me like, who do, who do we chase? Do we chase Anthony Joshua or? Tyson Fury, so I think that's going to be a good matchup, and I uh, can't wait to see it. The majority of fans and, and the media, you know, pick Tyson Fury to beat Anthony Joshua. Do you give Anthony Joshua a chance, and obviously, you know, he lost against Anthony, he's able to come back, adjust his style. Do you give him a fighting chance? Yeah, of course. I mean, they're very two boxers at a very high level, so it's always a there's always a chance. I, mean, it's, I think that the only fight where really they could actually say, that, oh. Uh, took it out of box was uh, Floyd Mayweather. Uh, he just obviously just beat up everybody. I mean, out boxed everybody. Uh, it's a heavy division, so we'll punch change everything. Now, you've been here in the bubble for a few days. Fury's been here in the bubble for a few days. Have you had a chance to talk to him and maybe, you know, say, okay, down the line we can see, you know, see each other? Yeah, so um, he walked out here and I was sitting uh, on the table back there. And he said, sort of, hey, Konaki, what's up? How are you? I was shocked that he knew who I was. Like, yeah, I remember you fought my undercard when I first came to New York in the Madison Square Garden in uh, 2013. Like, oh shit, that's pretty cool. That you, who I mean, I was, but I'm like, yeah, I'm coming for you though. So, uh, yeah. you know, hopefully you win against uh, Anthony Joshua and you uh, can set it up. Definitely. Man. Thank you so much for taking the time. I look forward to seeing you back in action and wish you the best of luck on the rematch with Robert Galenis. And obviously, you know, whatever brings you to the table. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate it, man.